What is up, everyone, and welcome back to some more of The Witcher 3. We finished the main game in the last one, but today we're getting into the Hearts of Stone DLC or expansion, and I'm very excited, so we're just going to jump into it. I don't remember. <laughs> so, Evil's soft first touches go see Algird von Everick about the contract. When Geralt later told me the story which began at the Seven Cats Inn notice board, he mentioned he had felt drawn to that place, as if some strange, undefined force wanted him to appear there on that day at that time. I didn't give this remark a second thought until I had heard the tale up to its conclusion and realized it's the beginning had, be had been no accident. And it began like this. One day, Geralt arrived at the Seven Cats Inn in search of his next contract. He pursued... He uh, perused the notices hanging there, yet found none to be much of interest, and was about to go on his way when a man came to nail a new parchment on the board. The notice announced a certain Algrid von Everick, residing in the nearby Garen estate, was looking for someone to kill a dangerous monster looking at the Oxenfurt sewers. Sounds like a job for me, thought Geralt, and he set off to see Algrid and learn more about the contract. Little did he know this was the beginning of a great adventure, one filled with both delightful diversions and deadly dangers. <laughs> I'm excited. Very excited. I'm running there. I don't know where Roach is. <laughs> I could call him. It's only 200 feet away. I can probably take a shortcut. Direct pathing. Besides, I need the time to regain my health. The Garen Estates. I wandered around this area ish. I don't think I wandered here. I want yeah, I wandered like over here. This place was cool. Really pretty. Black pudding, she was any hangover. Is that is that so? You that mud cunt who hunted Watch kings. Why is everyone drunk outside? Oh, I met! Your mug's not familiar. What is it you want? Looking for old Geard von Everick. Old Geard. Ah, that'll be inside. They all have the similar haircuts. Olgerd von Everick. I'm looking for him. None here by that name. <laughs> Can't help wondering. <laughs> who are you? Who do we look like? A crew of cutthroats? Or a band of former soldiers who got lucky? Ah, but that's where you err. Because we're sons of nobles all. <laughs> and daughters. So, gonna tell me who you are, precisely? The Redanian Free Company. The wild ones, folk call us. Owing to the boar in our coat of arms. Hmm. I was told I'd find old Geard von Everek here. Someone's made an arse of you, brother. <laughs> so maybe you can make up for that and help me, brother. <laughs> Something tells me you and me have got different mans. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ungus, you've had your fun. I'm Ogeard. Tell me, what brings you here? No, no, I'm Ogeard. You? Not likely. I'm Ogeard. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on here? Bunch of idiots. <laughs> You're all old geared. That it? Got it right. <laughs> this is background noise. One man split into three bodies. Not interested in his balls. So which of you's got his brain? <laughs> Not laughing. 
Guess that means you didn't get the brain. <laughs> nope. I'm the one got his fists. Oh god. Whoa, buddy. With our band of merry men. Come on, I'll take you to old Gid. So none of you are. <laughs> they all look very similar. So I wonder if they're just all family. Family. Advice, Geralt of Rivia. Once you meet old Gid, try and pique his interest. Mm. I gotta pique his interest. He's the one wants a monster dead. Aye, but he don't need you to kill it. So, you want this job? You gotta grab his attention. And he's one to get bored mighty quick. Is that so? You alright, Ducky? <laughs> Ottoman, sir. You've a guest. Do you know what types of sculptures fetch the best prices? Statues of deities, busts of kings, and nudes. And what have we here? A naked wench. What do you think of her? <laughs> Frankly, gotta say I prefer the work of Pax Gernst. Ah. The Kaviri School. Mm. Are you an Oxenfurt man? No. Know some folk who graduated from there, though. <sighs> I used to like Vosicelli. Gotta pique his interest. The life he could breathe into a chunk of cold stone. But I look at it now, and it seems just a rock, ideally proportioned. Not a flaw on its surface. Painfully perfect. As lifeless and boring as a boulder at the roadside. I had a feeling. <laughs> That's better. More interesting at the least. Very well. And now to the matter at hand. Let's rejoin the company. Partake of some refreshment first. For statue. Ataman Ogier. Long may he live. Long live the Ataman. Long live the Ataman. Long live the Ataman. Come and drink with this us. This is the call. <laughs> well, we haven't a choice now. No, oh, great. Nothing's gonna go wrong with Gerald drinking. <laughs> Fetch us some wine, dear. And a nibble or two. Is some special occasion or just feel like feasting? Every occasion special. Today we celebrate a dubbing. Whose? Squire Herodor's new saber. I've hit on a name for her. Fair saber, I dub thee Tradiciana. <laughs> Monster in the sewers. Know anything more? I've no clue what it is. Only that it's deadly. I'd not have bothered had my cook not become its victim. Oh, the way she prepared game had no equal. That why she was in the sewers? To fetch game? Hey, She went to a fair with a sister or cousin, matters not. Daft wench convinced her a prince transformed into a toad lives in the oxen fert sewers. Hmm. And you know women. Each craves a prince and will wade knee deep through shite to get him. Vissy was no exception in that respect. Now she went, never to return. Wasn't the first, it seems, either. <laughs> hey! Leave her be! Is that any way to treat the Lord of the Manor's daughter? Yeah, sit down. <laughs> Apologies. 
Now, where were we? Hmm. Oh, yes, the contract. So, you'll check it. Um, what about the room? <laughs> one formality to resolve first. <laughs> My pay. Never you mind that. Return with the beast's head, and you'll have leave to take anything you wish from here. Awfully generous. Still, I'd prefer to agree a specific amount. Ooh, fine. How much would you like? Three? Four hundred crowns? Four hundred and fifty. Agreed. <laughs> wow. That'll be in addition to whatever memento you wish to take. Wow. Consider the beast gone. Confident. Bring me its head, and the reward shall be yours. It looked like he was ready to fight. <laughs> so that's what's in the sewers. Is that what's drawing everyone in? What could it be? Oh. Hey, you! Post papers! Name's Geralt. But I'm gonna call you Puss Peepers. That a problem? Get to the point. <laughs> Got an offer. Potentially lucrative Puss Peepers. Someone's killed me mate. Name was Clivert. You're to figure out who did it. Then cut the bugger's head off. Why not avenge him yourself? Seems like you all relish swinging your sabers. Aye, we do. And if I knew who'd axed Clivert, I'd have gutted him ages ago. Thing is, I don't. But you see a lot with them puss peepers. <laughs> You'll track him down. Keep talking. Clivert dealt fist tech. A few days past, he rode to Bowden to take a delivery. Never came back. Been there? Actually seen his corpse? No, but Clivert was one damned reliable orson. We was to meet. He didn't show. Can only mean he's dead. Find the bastard who did this. Find him and kill him. I'll pay top coin. Need to think it through. Clivert's because he didn't meet hmm. on his forehead. Not unlike yours. Spot that, you'll know it's his body. Okay. Said I'd think about it. <laughs> know what, Puss Peeps? One look at a bloke and I know what he's made of. You'll do what I ask. I bet anything on it. Look <laughs> for me in Oxenfurt. The alchemy in on the main square. Okay. Actually, I kind of want to like look around really quick. Maybe I'll do that first. Guys got Bye some me. books. Take one down, pass her around, ninety nine barrels of rum on the wall. <laughs> Is that so? Aye, rum in ninety nine barrels. That'd be a good time. What do you say? We look for the cellar, cozy up to a hefty jug. <laughs> I'm out of here. Well, I wonder if it's that same town. No, oh, it's a different place completely. <laughs> well, might as well. Grab a few things. Can I just jump over you? Nope. <laughs> we tried. Let's go see if we can find this missing person who uh, presumed dead, but just because they didn't show up to the meeting, <laughs> which is kind of funny. What the heck? Oh, it's just rocks. Maybe I should call Roach. Oh, but I'm also stopping at this question mark. I'm going this way. Don't mind me. Boulevard clearing. <laughs> Golem. Hi. You are. You are tough. Ow. Wait, what? 
Oh, did, was it that long? <laughs> was it that long? Tanky. Come here. It's time to make a new sword. Oh my lord. Sends me fly. <laughs> Is this like? Hold on, let me just double check. What is? Sounds better. that active. I guess I did not. <laughs> or it must have ended. I guess you're just one tough little golem, huh? I thought like maybe I was using a broken sword. I was doing such little damage. Man, I don't notice this leaving me. It's so fast for some reason. Maybe this fight's just so long I'm not used to it going away that fast. I'm just gonna keep putting it on every 10 seconds just in case. I think it's sword making time. What do I want to make? There's a few swords that I was looking at. My thing's dying. <laughs> um, please hold. I'm just gonna do this because I'm tired of it. I'm <laughs> breaking. My armor looks really cool in this lighting. It looks very gold. Finally, <laughs> 10 years later, you are one tough one. 
What did you have? Igor Desaid's journal, notebook documenting research undertaken for the dissertation on workings and constructions of golems based on the work of Master Alzer, written by Igor Desaid. Desaid. A student at the Ban Art Academy, only a portion of the notes has survived. Day 134, I came across the remains of a destroyed golem in the swamps outside Vizima. Words cannot describe the rage that overcame me. The brickmakers who keep a settlement nearby told me this act of vandalism was perpetuated by some white-haired witcher and heard the members of the guild were vile horsons. But to stop to that, but to stoop to that? My idea struck me that I might have found find something useful uh, of use in the Oxenfurt Academy archive. I managed with great difficulty to cross the Pontar, but once in Oxenfurt, I met with an unpleasant surprise. The Academy has been closed. Luckily, I was able to gain entry thanks to the help of the professor acquaintance of mine. Thank you, slave boy. I thus was able to dig out the few dust-covered beauties and Eureka. Near the village of Hedel is a tower which, purportedly, once served as a workshop to none other than Master Alzer himself. I made it to the tower. It's inhabited. A rather eccentric gentleman has made it a roost for his flock in, of harpies. I saw him feed their chicks pork inconceivable. And let's return to our core concern. The tower which this loon has turned into a harpy nest truly might have been once been Alzer's workshop. This means that... This might be the very place where he conducted his research into golems. It's here, standing motionless in a circle, in a stone circle. The local peasants think it's merely a strangely formed boulder. But then again, how could such bumpkins ever guess the past of a masterpiece of magic construction on the way to feed their chickens? I've already fastened a, lightened, a lightning conductor. It's a shame that there's no druids nearby. If I hadn't slept through my course of meteorological magic, I'd summon a storm myself. But as it is, I can wait, patiently or otherwise. Day seven, 171. I've been sitting in the cold stone, waiting for a change in the weather. So long, my bowels have almost frozen. But it's finally here. I must stop writing now, for drops are falling onto my notebook and smearing my notes. The first rumblings of thunder sound in the distance. I cannot contain my excitement. Soon, the golem shall live again. But the one I just absolutely destroyed. <laughs> I'm sorry, golem. I wanted to read the note. We, we could have been friends. <laughs> um, I'll be on my way. I'm actually going to rest because I don't like nighttime. And it's starting to get dark. And I also need to replenish all my stuff. I also have a lot of money. I think we need to make a new sword. I think that's on the list of duties in the next couple parts. I gotta go look at which one I want to make, though. So this is where your friend was supposed to meet you? Oh. Seems like this place is abandoned. See what's going on here. Smells like solutions, mm. reagents. Wonder what's cooking. Mm. Follow the smell. In here? Smells of. Uh, they were cooking fist tech. Took most of the equipment, only left what was broken. Oh, and they went through the back window. Open window. Boot print on the bed. Somebody was in a hurry. Well, it's before I go that. I want to see where's everyone else <laughs> in this town. 
There's no bodies, it's just gone. And now I have a broken rake. This place is a disaster. Find whatever came through here. Anyone home? No bodies. Oh, well, maybe. Did I just see one? No, it's a a dog. Poor dog. Footprints, uneven. Someone ran through here. Stopped In the bush? here for a second. Hit, yeah. Then ran on. Hmm. Broke through the fence. Oh. And then got shot. Forehead. Must be Clivert. Bolt in the back. Went in deep, so a close range shot. From the village, what that direction looks like. Hmm. Well, they shot from there. Around here. Hmm. Be like way over here. Uh huh. Crossbow bolt and footprints deep. Shooter must have been wearing heavy armor. Sometimes when I'm like hiking, <laughs> I'll see footprints and I'll feel like I'm thinking like here. I'm like, what left these here? Towards the hill. What animal so was it? <laughs> Come on. No. Why are you guys existing? in the back just kept getting burned. Oh, you're alive. And the <laughs> I was not expecting that. Where did you go? Huh. Oh. Hi, guys. That's a interesting weapon. Oh, as if. I thought he would hit one of them. There's four of them in the way. archers are literally sniping in between them like how I'm like as perfectly lined up <laughs> oh, like that should have hit that guy in front of me I give up with these archers I gotta kill him look they're shooting where I'm going to Die. 
This guy is just like on my ass constantly. <laughs> Get off of me! <laughs> Go away! Too late to surrender. You wanna pull that back out? Be my guest. No more shield. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Those archers knew how to shoot like perfectly over all of their friends. It was quite amazing. <laughs> Man, I probably have so many chicken sandwiches. Orders. Thunder, I'm warning you, snort that match fist tech again and you'll end up in a dead white wood just like that mad fist, fist bend <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> Peter, your job is to sell the product, not inhale it. <laughs> Blazing hells. Expect a pickup today. M. Hey. There's all the fish tech. Thunder's journal. There are a few poems and, poems and abstract drawings in the journal. Most is incomprehensible scribbling. I was transferred to the smuggling spot again. I love this job more than any other, for there's not much to do. Just sit all day, waiting for buyers, and naturally there's a man bored and has good merchandise right under, right under his nose. He'll give it a sniff or two. Besides, sometimes someone shows... Oh, is fish tech supposed to be like <laughs> some hard drug in this? He'll give a sniff or two. Besides, sometimes someone shows who doesn't like our profession or who tries to cheat us. Let me get to give that gentle someone a treatment he deserves uh this writing's worn me out so i think i'll see if i can sniff up a bit of r and r and then i'll write a poem watching it dance the world's heavy turning instant pass answer all the life's yearning count it up the sand flying through the glass zip life down let it pickle let its pickle end your fast chemicals course and satisfaction slowly fades flesh enlists in ecstasy ecstasy our bliss plows your veins and doom spreads its wares on your life's cracked remains. Amazing. <laughs> I guess I'm commandeering all your drugs. Mine now. Aha. Uh -huh. Trousers diagram. Untranslated. I have to find someone to translate it. Order of the Flaming Rose Armor and Gauntlets. Order of the Flaming Rose diagram. Sword. Letter Seems with orders. Markings on it. Might find someone who could explain them to me. Diagrams written in an unknown tongue require translation. Drawings of various stages of crafting trousers. From offers distant shores. Aha. Uh -huh. Orders to attack Bo Bodun. I've heard rumors about the abandoned village of Bowden's abandoned no more. A pack of common bandits have moved in and made it their own little fish tech manufactory. We cannot allow this. I'm issuing the order to attack the village and exterminate the vermin. We'll make an example, strike some terror into everyone's hearts, haul any equipment and supplies to our lab northwest of Brunwich, destroy everything else. Northwest of Brunwich, huh? Ulrich. All well, nice lab. Okay. I shall go do that. Where is it? Over there? Perfect. There's a nice little question mark on the way. I'm just gonna take a horse. Let's go. <laughs> Where is Roach? Not too sure. <laughs> I could call him, but hi. Don't mind me. I feel bad now. Have I betrayed Roach? <laughs> I'll call Roach next time. Oh, hey guys. No, Roach, just stay, stay away. Ow. Oh, Get him from the left. <laughs> Watch out. You oh, I knew it. Archers, you gotta be careful of them. They do the real damage. Yeah. 
can't even see him. No, I don't want to call Roach, man. I really don't. But I want to run, and it's impossible to. <laughs> so I'm like struggling to just run. You'll never learn. How are you not getting burned? I've tried to burn that guy that's running up on me, and he just is fine. What? World's Edge? Yes, finally burn that back one because he is on me all the time. Get him from the left. I knew that was gonna happen. Come on, come on! I'm pressing. I just come here, you annoying knight! Oh my God! Burn! Burn! Burn to death, please! That's all I want. <laughs> I will kill you in a second, but I've really got to get rid of your damn archers because they are the real problem. And now you can die. Fine, you want to burn to death too? I'll burn you to death. Everyone gets to burn to death in this camp. And then there's always this guy. The ones with the shields. Wait, did that not work? Is it because you're high level? Too late to surrender. Just let him burn, honestly. <laughs> it's the fastest way. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that was such a struggle. Man, you guys got some good stuff. Hey, more of that sword for the diagram I already have. Scouting report. Day one, two, uh, asswives from the nearby village drove a cow by. We, uh, we not mind a bit of beef, but these hayseeds are too pathetic to rob. Poor as dirt and sinking of the sky, of sty. We, uh, so we let them go. Seed cart doing the Brunwich Oxenford route. Not worth it. Dull, dull, dull. Roads empty. Caught a sight. Military transport in the distance. Heavily guarded. Carrying barrels in their wagons. Wine. Most like of herring weapons. Now that would have been worth a try. Lads got bored silly by evening. So they went cavorting with the two winches, come to hunt mushrooms in the woods. They, and they'd had their fun. I forced them to let the lasses go. Here's to hoping they come back quick with some menfolk from their village to give us some entertainment. I see. Um, you got anything else here? What you hiding? Hey, Order of the Flaming Rose Gauntlets. I'll take it all. Everything. <laughs> that was a rough time. <laughs> it's always the archers. They make it so difficult. And then that last archer just perfectly walking away <laughs> from my attacks. Honestly, just setting them on fire and then turning back to the fight, that's the way to do it. That was very useful <laughs> way to fight. I am not coming in a weird way. <laughs> this is a really steep hill, you know? Understandable, Roach, don't worry. <laughs> I don't I know this was gonna be this steep. What's this? Order of the Flaming Rose have a new seat? Not too shabby. Yo, listen, Vigrant. Don't know why you're here, but take my advice. Go back to wherever you came from. So, why are you still standing there? I need to smash your plate in. I mean, you can try. What you guys hiding in there? Wondering what you got inside, because it reeks of fist tech to me. Mind if I have a look, brethren? I wait, mind. Very much so. Enough of these games. I'm counting to three, and you're going to be gone when I'm done. Got it? One, two, three. Damn it. I need to get that up. I've been investing. <laughs> it's still not enough, though. <laughs> three. <laughs> it shall be 
Galveston. Come on, come closer. Let them burn a little bit. Upgrade a rusty key. Hold on. Do I have any points actually? I might. I want to be able to get them. <laughs> I feel like I have so much in there already. domination. <laughs> Maybe I need to equip it, that's why. I have this one on right now. But I could put this one on. Maybe that'll be enough now. <laughs> I like having the option too. I have so much of this fish... fish sorry, it's a tongue twister. <laughs> this deck on me. Oh, it's a cave! I thought it was just a little house. Wow. What you guys hiding over here? What the heck? Why are you in the floor? You guys don't mind me being around here, do you? Let's go down here really quick. For curiosity reasons. Okay, there's not a side path. That's what I was looking to see if there was. You guys mind that I'm here? Oh. <laughs> Who the devil are you? I'm a witcher, or as your brethren prefer to call me, a mutant, a freak. I don't think they're gonna be too happy that we just murdered the two you outside. Be in here. And knights of the flaming rose shouldn't be murdering humans or producing drugs. Mm-hmm. True. We shouldn't. We're supposed to defend the downtrodden. Spread faith in the eternal fire. But Radovid tricked us. He broke his oath, sent our brethren to the front as common grunts, and once the mighty order was bled dry, he disbanded us. Took our lands, confiscated our domains to finance his war. The brethren who didn't object were appointed mage hunters. Those who took umbrage dared to stand up to him. They were imprisoned. Or exiled. We're but a handful who still wear the colors. And we must find a new place in this world. <laughs> Honestly, couldn't give a shit about your grief. Not the tiniest, runniest, greenest little shit in the world. <laughs> you persecuted others, destroyed them. Now you've met with that same fate. So you got exactly what you deserved. A witcher moralist. Amusing, but feel I've met you somewhere before. Hmm. I know you. You're Geralt of Rivia, Jack Aldersburg's killer. None other. And if I had to go back, I'd do it again. That was the start of our doubt. <laughs> You were the beginning. 
Accursed mutant, draw your blade! No need to yell. Just ask politely. I knew there was a damn archer. Get him from the left. Ow, I thought my thing was ready. Oh shit. I'm not in that. Damn, every time I want to do fire, I have to put my thing back on because of a damn archer. <laughs> Come on, all together. Archer, by the way. Look how where he is and where he was hitting me from. <laughs> like, that's insane. That floating torch. Did you see that? Why is he there? Oh, shit. <laughs> I pushed up. <laughs> that was so weird. Now it's just me and you, Mr. Shield. Hey, I could I could get this one. Ow. I must have enough now. That was supposed to be a, a kick, but you know. It didn't really happen. Can you come down here? I can't fight you on that. <laughs> it's impossible. Oh wait. Yep, you can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> The leg chop. Oh my god. Why even have the diagram when I have so many of the swords already? <laughs> I have so much to sell. I'm taking all of this stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna have so much. I don't want to turn this off. They all have the fist tag. All of it. We. Okay, well. <laughs> this floating torch, though, <laughs> distracted me during that fight. I'm out of here. I have so many of their swords. His Majesty King Radovid is a stern ruler. Ah, he's dead. And all the easy to find which is all registered. There you are. Avenged your friend. <laughs> I knew you'd succeed, puss peepers. I knew it. Go on, out with it. Who was the bastard? The Order of the Flaming Rose. Bastards. Brethren of the Order of the Flaming Rose. What do you do to them? Scald them with hot irons, pick out their eyes, skin them alive. No, just killed them. I might have watched some of them burn to death. So handsome <laughs> and so boring. Here, fuss peeps, your gold. Ought to be enough for an ounce of panache. Nice. And what am I supposed to do with all this fist tank that I brought? <laughs> oh, well. I'll be on my way then. <laughs> Oh yeah, there was that other mission that I got during that, too. It was... Side quests. I don't know which one I got during that mission. <laughs> was it this one?
I should read what this mission's about, because <laughs> I honestly don't know what it's about <laughs> at all. Witcher has become the synonym for Monster Slayer in many minds. While accurate as far as it goes, this does not encompass the whole truth, for witches take on a broad variety of other tasks besides tasks besides slaying of monsters. For example, they sometimes use their superhuman senses to find missing persons. Such a, a lost individual was the subject of the notice hung by a certain Otto Baumer, an herbalist residing near Oxenfeld. Herbalist hut. Hey, you know what? You might have some herbs that I need. Now that I think about it. Oh, hi. Greetings. Is it herbs you seek? Medicines to mute a bashful maid's inhibitions? Or a concoction to raise your own courage for a second go? That it? No other weeds or <laughs> bruise? Aye. One to make your hair grow. Another to do the opposite. An easer of pain, hmm. a calmer of heartburn. Tell me what ails you. Um, I am... Know any advanced formulae? Maybe something you could teach me? All I know, I learned from Master Gremist of Skellig. Oh, makes sense. <laughs> Looking to apprentice yourself in the herbalist trade? Nah, I just want to learn something new. Call it what you will. You must sail across the Great Sea. Find the Isle of Ard Skellig. There, in the sacred grove, the learned Master Gremist will judge whether you're fit to be his pupil. Play cards. Wait, hold on. We need a you're we need a to quick Gwent game. That ought to set me <laughs> Just completely distracted. I was here for one reason. Yeah, I like this. I gotta use it. I don't think I've ever used the, <laughs> the cart. Watch this person be just a master. Ah! Oh, I did not want to press that! I mean, nail hit it! <laughs> I got two Scorch cards. It's great. Lovely. <laughs> I'm upsetty spaghetti. I don't know why I played played that. I'm all discombobulated, okay? But I got an idea. I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> I'm a disaster already. Should I even play anything or just burn your cards for fun? <laughs> You passed. I'll take it. Um, I guess I'll play this. and everything. I don't want to play the leader card. Mine. <laughs> Get yoinked. Oh. You know, even with my big mess up, <laughs> I just have a much better deck. Keep in your car. <laughs> I didn't even play it. I just took it. <laughs> Um, thanks. Got anything good? Hey there. Nice. Um, hey, what do you have actually? Let me have a look. Let's see if I can buy some stuff. Okay. Um, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I got very distracted. Hear about the contract. Whew. A taker at long last. Poverty in everyone's lips, but when you've a job to give, no one's eager. Folk are lazy, that's the truth of it. Stick to the point, if you don't mind. 
Uh, right, right, right. Sorry for the chatter. I, I'm anxious, is all. Been so long without any what. <sighs> it's my apprentice, Falkert. I sent him to the Dead White Wood. You know, the forest near Martin Foy's farmstead. I I'd run out of hand fibre, see, and the, the damned stuff grows thick as weeds there. Let me guess. Hasn't returned. Yes. Uh, no, he hasn't. Please, find him and bring him back safe and sound. Hmm. Yes, no. Hmm. No promises, but I can certainly look for him. Any distinguishing features? How will I recognize him? Hmm. Got to think on that. Well, he's a, a halfling, as I am. A light hair. Will that do? <laughs> It'll have to. So long. Very descriptive. Oh, you have a lot of little herbs around your house. Oh, is that so hot? Take everything. Take it all. <laughs> this is a really cute place. It's very beautiful here. I love what you've done with the place. Um, I'll go find your missing friend. Well, I'm calling that one there. We're going to continue with this in the next one. Huge thanks to all my patrons. Have a nice night, everyone.